guys, my name is Agnes. I'm the yoga, Pilates and Fascia instructor. Welcome to work from home pranayama practice. Now what is pranayama? Prana is a breath and ayama is actually an extension, expansion and retention of your breath. If you combine pranayama together, it is an extension, expansion and retention of your breath. Now let's start off by sitting half seat off from the chair. Right, so, um, and I'd like you to just divide your torso into three areas. The first area will be your chest, second area will be your ribcage, and the third area will be your abdomen. The first pranayama will be a complete breath. Now, uh, the benefits of the complete breath would allow you to remain calm and also helps to um, generate energies into your lethargic body and it helps you to stay focused and it allows you to breathe deeper, you know, whenever you're stressed, whenever you are encountering uh, anxieties and you need a break, yeah? So start by placing your palms over at your chest area to spread your fingers apart so sitting up straight. Just close your eyes for a moment and feel your breath for this time and also gently quiet down your mind. Now in here slowly to expand into your chest area. Feel the fullness of your chest and with each exhalation just observe your fingers naturally softening as the chest melts down. Let's try one more time. In here, breathing in through your whole nostril. Now, fully expand into your chest and observe your palm fully expanded out. With each exhalation, just try to relax your ribcage, relax your chest area. Next, I'd like you to just shift your palms over the ribcage area. Now, each inhalation, just feel the full expansion of your ribcage. So, breathing in. And observe the ribs fully expanded laterally out to the side and with each exhalation just feel the ribs are moving towards one another. So each inhalation, try to expand fully into your rib cage and allow your ribs to laterally expand out into both sides. And with each exhalation, just try to soften up your ribs and observe your fingers are sliding towards one another. Now the third section is by bringing your palms down into your lower abdomen. So with each inhalation, just try to purposely expand your abdomen. Allow your abdomen to really bulge out. And with each exhalation, just try to soften up your abdomen and just feel your fingers naturally soften in as your abdomen softens up. One more time, in here, purposely try and expand your abdomen fullers and with each exhalation just try to relax your ribcage and relax your abdomen, relax your fingers. Now I like you to just remain with the right palms at the abdomen, shift your left palms up to your chest. So close your eyes at this time and with each inhalation just try to feel your chest fully expand into your palm and just let the prana flow into your ribcage, let it expand into the lower abdomen. When the torso are full, you want to go there for just one or two seconds and then slowly as you exhale, soften out your chest, feel the ribs softening out and feel the abdomen softening in. One more try, in here to expand into the chest area and try to purposely bulge out your abdomen, just let the prana flow down into the lower abdomen. When the torso is going into its fullest, I'd like you to just hold your breath for one, two, three count, and exhale out very slowly. Very nice. Now, once you are very seasoned with uh, placing on your palms, you can relax your palms, your palm facing up. Close your eyes, just try to work this for three rounds, okay? Ready? In here, breathe it in, expand your chest, rib cage. Fully expand your abdomen until you find the front torso and the back ribs are fully expanded out. And with each exhalation, just feel the shoulders softening out, chest release, rib cage soften out. Come around, inhale to expand into your chest. 
rib cage, fullest of your abdomen. And with each exhalation, just feel your shoulders relax, rib cage soften out, abdomen sinking in. Very nice and gently open your eyes and see how you feel. You find that uh, your environment, whatever that you see, is so much clearer now. Okay. Now let's start off with a simple stretch. Huh? This is a, a in stretch, yeah? so it's a very gentle stretch that would really help you to relax after the pranayama. Okay, so slowly in here, bring up your right arms, and as you exhale, slowly reach out into the side and come back center and release it. Back hands up in here, exhale out into your own right side, come back and release one more time in here, exhale in. Back and release last one in here. Exhale out. Center and release. Okay, so just keep your legs slightly wider than your chair area. So I like you to just gently collapse your chin and allow your head to really release shoulders, release down. Just feel nice to release into your spine and gently roll up the spine, vertebra by vertebra until you find the whole of this up all the way to the back of the neck. And with each exhalation again, back your chin in, round your back. So pull your belly high and gently release your fingers down. Relax your shoulders. So you simply can just go as low as you can and then slowly roll your spine up, vertebra by vertebra, stepping it up. Let's pull for one more round in here. Exhale gently, just roll your chin in. And as you are exhaling, just relax your and slowly roll this high up, vertebra by vertebra. So remember the breath, very nice. This time, we're going to just work into your chest movement. Yeah? So slowly lean your body forward and then gently round your back and trust your chest forward and round your back. Okay? Now, from this movement, you just want to trust your chest front and back for a few more times. And then on the last one, okay, you're going to twist your right shoulders towards your left knees, hold it here for a while, come back center and change it over to the other side. So this is the very nice shoulder and ribs, torso stretch. And again, center in here, exhale, twisting it out into the side. Last one, center in here, exhale out into the side. Very nice. And gently come back. Okay, good job. Now, gently rotate your shoulders. So, this is a very nice gentle shoulder rotation. Stick the shoulders bringing up towards the ear, full range of motion. Just remember that the one commit when the movement comes from the shoulders. If you have your elbow moving like this, that you are not moving too much in the range of motion around the shoulders. So, try to relax your elbow and bring the shoulders high up and going on a full range of motion. And then reverse it on the other side. Three, two, one. Very nice. Okay, so from here, you're gonna just walk the legs out slightly wider. Okay, so slowly release your left elbow down, reaching out your arms all the way into your own left side. And then from here, we wanna just walk around the world, release your hands down, and then change it over to the other side. One more time, release it down, and again the other side and one more time and the other side very nice and then gently come back hands on the knees slowly roll your spine up vertebra by vertebra very nice last one into your neck rotation drop your ear down into your right shoulders gently in here allow your head to turn and pour into the back of the room now draw your chin to your collarbone one more time in here to reverse into your left, pointing your head all the way towards the back, into your right side, draw your chin in. One more, working on the, the breath now. And exhale. Last one, inhale again. And exhale. Beautiful. It's another stretch that you can sit on the chair. So interlock your finger. The feeling of your fingers is like it's going to tear apart. Yes, yeah, so and gently you want to just tuck your chin into your collarbone. Just try to 
tear your fingers apart and then gently round your back. Alright, and then slowly in here, push your chin into the back of the palm, elbows sticking up. So as you raise your chin up, you want to use your chin to push into your back of the palms and the back of the palm is trying to push into your chin. Okay, and then gently round your back again. Tearing the fingers apart. One more time, in here, push it up, elbow sticking up. Exhale, rounding it as you really want to pull the fingers away. And then again, in here, lifting it up. Exhale, fingers are squeezing and the tearing it apart. One last one, in here, lifting it up. It's very energized. And again, away. Very good. And then gently relax it. Wonderful. Yeah. So the next uh, pranayama that I'll be sharing would be the Kapalapati. So Kapalapati is actually propulsive breathing. So it's more of uh, focusing on to the exhalations rather than the inhalation. So think of like there's a bee flying right through to the nose and you're trying to sneeze it out. Yeah? So uh, try to uh, focus less on your inhalation. In fact, there's no inhalation at all. Focus more of your exhalations. Yeah? Now, uh, let's try to work this on 10 times first and see how you feel. Like, watch me first. So I place my palms over at my upper part of my abdomen. I want to um, exhale out by pulling in my abdomen. So think of your abdomen as like an a, a inflated balloon. So when you exhale out, the balloon is inflated. Yeah. So watch this first when I exhale. Okay. So the movements comes from the abdomen as if like you want to really pump and empty the air out from the abdomen through your both nostrils. So let's try this for ten times first. Ready? In here slowly. Exhale out for 10. So once you have fully exhaled, empty out your breath. I like you to just hold your emptiness of your breath just for about one or two count. And then gently relax your abdomen as you inhale now. Let's try for Propulsive breathing, which is your pranayama and your popular party for 10 more times. Alright, ready? One more time. Breathe in. Ready? Let's go. So, towards the last exhalation, I want you to empty your breath and hold your out breath. 3, 2, 1. Now relax and breathe in slowly. Let's make it to 20 sets now. Ready? Let's go. Empty your breath completely now. So at this point in time, sometimes you feel there's some light giddy head, you know, over at the crown of the head and you find that it's a slight giddiness. That's quite normal because you're cleansing your breath, yeah? Okay, and then gently inhale slowly, breathing in now. And breathe it out slowly. One more to go, breathing in slowly. And breathe out slowly. Wonderful. So that's your Kapala Mati. You can practice this um, at home. And uh, how many rounds? Normally, I would suggest you can go for five rounds and uh, try to empty your breath. So this is actually a very good cleansing of the toxin out from the body through your breath work. Alright. So the last one, uh, we're focusing on your Nadi Sudana, which is your alternate nostril breathing. Alright. So uh, just position your palms with the right hand. Close up your index finger and your third finger, and uh, just keep the last two fingers together. Alright. I'm doing a mirror image. So your right hand is my left hand. Alright. So allow your thumb 
to close your right side of the nostril. Start breathing in through your left nostril now. So slowly in here, breathing in through your left. Hold your left now. Allow your last two fingers to close your left nostril. Exhale out through your right. Now slowly in here through your right nostril. Now close your right, exhale out through to your left. Now in here through to your left. Close your left and exhale out through to your right. I'd like you to just continue to repeat this. In here through your right. Close your right, exhale out through to your left. Alright? And then in here through to your left and exhale out through to your right. Now through this process, as you are working on it right now, I like you to just try to detect which nostril is working least uh, for you. So sometimes you find one of the nostril has actually is actually blocking up. You know, it's compared as compared to the other nostril where it's more fluid when it comes to uh, the breathing. So I want you to just focus on the least working nostril now. Like for me, if my right nostril is less working for me, I want to close my left side of the nostril and focus on my right nostril now, all right? So for me, I will focus onto my left nostril because my right nostril is actually working lesser for me. So I want to just pump in more prana through my right nostril, okay? So from here, I want to inhale through one side of your nostril that is least working one. And exhale out very slowly through your one side of your least working nostril. Again, inhale, breathing in very slowly. And breathe out very slowly. Let's work on one last set of your inhale now for the least working nostril. And exhale up very slow. Now free your both hands now. Breathe in through your both nostrils through your complete breath. Ready? In here, breathe in through your chest, your ribs, the lower abdomen. And exhale up very slowly. Breathe in through your chest, your ribs. Low abdomen and breathing out very gently. And on the last round, inhale again and exhale out very slowly. So the last one, we're moving into your ayama, which is your retention of your breath. So it actually builds up from your complete breath. All right. So follow me in here as we breathe in through. Your complete breath, expand your chest, your ribs, your abdomen. With each full inhalation, I want you to just hold your in-breath for four counts. Good. And then slowly exhale out for six counts. With each exhalation, I want you to hold your out-breath. At that point in time, there's no inhale, no exhale after you empty your breath. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Now inhale now to your fullest through your complete section. With each full inhalation, I want you to hold your breath. Six count. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale out very slowly. With each full exhalation, hold your out breath at that time. No in here, no exhale. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now gently relax everything and breathe in through your three section. Good. With each fullness of your breath, hold your in breath now. I'm gonna increase to eight count. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now exhale out very slowly. With each full exhalation, empty your breath and hold your breath there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. 
and then gently go on a normal complete breath now. Inhale, chest, ribs, abdomen. Exhale out very slowly. One last one, breathing in. And breathing out. Wonderful. So that wraps up our pranayama for those who work from home. And um, just try to practice this uh, as often as you can. You can uh, practice this in the morning. You can practice this uh, while you are in the midst of uh, working from home. Um, and also you can practice this uh, before you go to bed. Yeah? So it's an absolutely good practice you know, for any living organism. You know, and also whenever you are stressed, uh, just take a deep breath. Yeah? So this will be very useful for those you know, who have a certain event that is coming up. For example, if you have an interview uh, ahead of you and you feel uh, there's lots of anxiety, a lot of uh, things that is acting up, you know, just try to go for that complete breath. It helps to calm down your mind and your body and your um, spirit as well. Yeah? So uh, that wraps